Welcome everyone to the Tabard Inn here on this beautiful Sunday, 7th of December, 1388. We're all poets here and we're all going to do what poets always do, which is to boast, tell tall stories and drink, lots of drink. And most of all, we're going to listen to each other's poetry. We're going yeah. to hear new work. Because that's what we do again. However, I have to say that uh, we're waiting for somebody to stand up and offer us something, some wonderful thing. So, people, who's got something for us new? Who's got something new for us? Now, now this, is, this is just like John Gower here. To offer a challenge but not present a work of his own. Now, I think I, pres I speak for everyone here when I say, put up or shut up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think that's a pretty fine thing in com coming from you, Geoffrey Chaucer. Now, so far, you've been sitting down in Kent for the last three years having a jolly pleasant time while Too some far. of us have been up here in London Too trying far. to keep things going the best way we can. And what have you been doing down in Kent? Well, we hear you're writing some wonderful new piece of poetry or something, something fantastic, but so far we've only seen one bit of it, and that was The Knight's Tale, and I'm sorry, Geoffrey, that was so long and boring, wasn't it? <laughs> long and boring. You <laughs> it was long and boring. That's what it was like. So I, and what did what we get in The Knight's Tale? We got lots and lots of romance, romantic love, but no sex whatever. We got, we got lots and lots of knights and lots of chivalry, but where was the reality in all that? So, come on, Geoffrey. I hope you can do something better than that. Well, all right. I rise to your challenge. John, have a seat. Okay, thanks, Geoffrey. Take a seat. As it happens, John, I do have something. I hope you like it. Willowm there was dwelling in Oxenford, a reach a gunoff that gaist as held to board. And of his craft, he was a carpenter. With him there was dwelling a poor scholar had learned art, would all his fantasia was turned for to learn astronomy. And could a certain of conclusions to the men be interrogations, if that men axed him in certain orders, one that men should have drokta or elishurus, or if men asked him what shall be fala at Alatima, he may not reckon him all. This clerk was clapped hendi Nicholas, but then a love he could and of solace, and there to he was slay and fool privé, and like a maid maker for to say. A chambra had he in that hostoria, alone without in any compagnia, who fatously dicta with herbis swota, and he himself as sweat as the rota of licoras or any sexuala. His alma jest and book is great and smaller, his astralaba long and for his art. <laughs> his ogrum stone is sitting fair apart on shelf his coochie that is bathed his head. His press he covered with a falding reda, and all above there lay a gay sotria, on which he made a nick this melodia so sweet lay that all the chambra rung, and Angelus ad virginum he sung. And after that he sung the king's note. Full of the blessed was his muria throat, and thus this way the clerk his team is spent, after his friend is finding and his rent. This carpenter had wedded new a weef, which that he loved more than his leaf. A ve ten year she was a vage. <laughs> Jealous he was, and held her narwa in caja, for she was wild and young, and he was old, and the man himself been like a cocoa old. He knew not Catoon, for his wit was rude, that bad men should await his similitude. Men should await after he had a stat, for youth and eld is often at the bat. But sith that he had fallen in the snare, he must endure as other folk his car. Fair was this young wife, and there with all as any wessel, her body gent and small. A scent she wear, barred all of silk. A barn cloth with as morn a milk upon her lendis, full of many a gore. Wit was her smock embroidered all before, and ache behind her, on her collar a boot of coblack silk within, and ache with hoot. 
The tapes of her wheat voulu pair were of the same suit as her colère. Her fillet brood of silk and set on here, and sickerly she had a licorice ear. Full smile e pulled were her brow as tall, and though were bent and black as is a slow, she was full more blissful unto say than is the new aperio netetre, and softer than the wall is of the weather. And be her girdle hang a purse of leather tasseled with silk and pearled with latoon. In all this world to say can oop and doon, there needs no man so weast that could adventure, so gay a popoletta, or sweet a wencher. Full brichter was the shining of her hue, than in the tour the nobly forged new. Booth of her song, it was as lewd and yearn as any swall was sitting on a bairn. There too could she skip and mak a gamma, as any kid or calf following his dama. Her mouth was sweat as braggart or the maith, or hoard of apples laid in hay or hay. Wincing she was as a jolly coat, long as a mast and a breeched as a boat. A brooch she bar upon her love cold air, as brood as is the boose of a vocal air. Her shoes were lasted on her leg as here. She was a primer hole, a pig as near for any lord to leg in his bed, or yet for any good yeoman to wed. No seer and eft seer, so befell the cast, that on a day this hen de Nicolas filled with this young wife to raja and play, weil that her husband was at Azigny, as clerk has been full subtle and full quaint. And privily, a hey, cockter be the quaint, and said, I wis. But if each have me wheeler, for done a love of vellum and he spiller, and held her hard to be the hunchous bonus, and said, Le man, love me all at honest, or he walk dean, and also God may save. And she sprung as hort doth in a trava, and with her head she reared fast away, and said, He will not kiss there be me fay. We let be, could each, let be, Nicholas or ye woo creut harrow and alas. Do we your handes for your courtesy. The Nicholas gan mercy for to cree, and spake so fair and proffered him so fast, that she here love him granted at last. And swore her oath be St. Thomas of Kent, that she would have been at his commandment, one that she may her laser well espear. Me husband is so full of jealousy, that would she wait well in been privé, I wore it well in on but dead, quod she. Ye must been full bairn as in this case. Nay, there of care they knocked, quod Nicholas. A clerk hath lutherly beset his wheel, but if he could a carpenter be gil. And thus they bid accorded than he sworn to Watertin, as he have told before. When Nicholas had done thus every dell, and thacked here upon the lend this well, he kisseth her sweat, and tacketh his sotria, and playeth fast, and maketh melody. Then filleth booster to the Paris church, Christ his own work is for to work, this good wif went on an holiday. Here forehead shone as bricked as any day, so was it washing when she laid her work. Nu was there of this church a parish clerk, the witch that was eclated Absalom. Cruel was his hair, and as the gold it shone, and struted like a fan, large and broad, full straight and even lay his jolly shoulder. His throat was red, his hand grey as ghosts, with polis window covering his shoes. In hoses red he went a fatously. He clad he was full small and properly, all in a kirtle of a leaked waget. Full fair and thick were the point is set. And thereupon he had a gay surplice, as wit as is the blossom upon the lease. A murray chilled he was, so God may save. Well could he latun blood and clip and shava, and mak a chatra of land perchance. On twenty maniera could he trip and dance after the skull of oxen for though, and with his leg is cast in toe and fro, and playeth his song as on a small rubible. There too he sung some team a lewd quinnible, and as well could he play on a guitarna. In all the two nas bruhus ne taverna that he ne visited with his solas, there any gallard tapestera was. But sooth to saying, he was some dale squay moose of farting and spatched angelus. This Absalom, that your leaf was in gay, goeth with his censure on the holiday, sensing the weavers of the parish faster, and many a lovely look on him a caster, and namely on this carpenter's weave. To look on here, him thought to murry a leaf, 
she was so proper and sweet and little loose, he dare well saying, if she had been a moose and he a cat, he would have here hent along. <laughs> this parish clerk, this jolly Absalon, hath in his heart sweet a love longing, that of no whiff ne took he noon offering. For courtesy, he said, he would have none. The moon, when it was bright, when it was neat, full bright the shaw, and Absalon, his guitar hath he taka, for paramours he thought for to walk. And forth he goeth, jolly and amorous, till he come to the carpenter's house a little after the caucus had he crow. And dressed of him up be the shot window that was upon the carpenter's wall. He sing in a voice genteel and small, No, dear lady, if thee will be, he pray you that you will rue on me. <laughs> well, and according to his guitarney. This carpenter awoke and heard him sing, and spark unto his wife and say the non. What? Alison, here's still not Absalom that chanted thus on the Raboris wall? And she answered, Here, who's been there with all? Yes, good woot, John, ye hear it every day. <laughs> this passeth forth what woe ye bet than well. Fro day to day, this jolly Absalom so wooeth here that him is woo begone. He wacketh all the nicht and all the day. He came to his locus broad and made him gay. He wooeth here be menace and brocage, and swore he would have been here own a page. He singeth broking as the nicht in gal. He sent her piment, made and specie dala, and waffres peeping hot out of the glade. And for she was of tone, he proffered made her. For some folk will be one with riches, and some for strokes, and some for gentiles. Some teen, to show his leekness and maestria, he playeth Herodus upon the scaffold here. But what that what availeth him is in this cast, she loveth so this hen de Nicholas, that Absalom may blow the bucus horn. Ain I had for his labor but a score. And thus she maketh Absalom hereapa, and all his earnest turneth till a japa. For sooth is the proverb, it is no leer, men saith reek thus, Alway the knee a slea maketh a fair lever to be loth. For though that Absalom be wood or wroth, since that he fair was from her sicta, this knee and Nicholas stood in his lichter. No bear they well, do hende Nicholas, for Absalom may wail and sing, alas. <laughs> and so befell it on a Saturday, this carpenter was gone till Osigny, and hende Nicholas and Alison accorded been to this conclusion that Nicholas shall sharpen him a wheel this silly, jealous husband to beguile. And if so be, the gama went or eat, she should have slept in his arm all neat, for this was here desira, and his also. And reeked anon, with oot and word a small, this Nicholas no linger would a tarry, but doth full soft with chamber a carry, both mate and drinker for a day or twa. And to her husband bade here for to say, if that he axed after Nicholas, she should have say, she nist where he was. In all that day she saw him not with ear. She throwed that he was in malady, for for no cree her maid could him call her. And old answered for nothing that meet fall her. This passeth forth, I'll still kiss after day. This Nicholas still in his chamber lay, and ate and slept and did what him lester, till Sunday that son was to rest her. This carpenter hath great marvail of Nicholas, or what thing me came ail her, and said, I am a drad be St. Thomas. It standeth not to reek with Nicholas. God shield that he dead suddenly. This world is new, full, thicker, sickerly. He saw today a corpse born to church that knew a Monday last he saw him watch. Go up, put it to his canava anon. Clip at his door or can knock over the stone. Look who it is and tell me boldly. This canava goeth up full sturdily, and at the chamber door, will that he stood, he creed and can knock at his hay with a wood. What ho, oh, what do ye may stir Nicolai, that ye may sleep in all the long a day? But all for knocked, he heard knock the word. A hole he found full low upon the board, there as the cat was wont in for to creep. And at that hole, he looked in full deeper. And at the last, he had of him a seat. This Nicholas sat every capping up reeked, as he had kicked on the new amon. A doon he goeth and told his maester son in what array his heart the silky man. This carpenter to blessed him began, and said, Help us, Saint Friedis Weed, a man would little what him shall be teed. This man is foul with his astronomy, in some woodness or in some agony. He thought they well who that it should be. Men should not know of God's privity. 
Yea, blessed though it be a lewd man that none but only his believer can. So fill another clerk with his astronomy. He walked into the field, he put a prey upon the stairs, what there should be falla, till he was in the marl pity falla. He saw not that. Would yet be St. Thomas, may ruith sore of Henry Nicholas. He shall be right to be studying, if that he may be just to heaven king. Get me a staff, that he may underspore, with to Robin Havust upon the door. He shall be out of his studying as he guesser, and to the chamber door he gan him dresser. His canava was a strong car for the nonnes, and be the hasper half at the patonus. Into the floor the door fell anon. His Nicholas sat a still as stone, and every capping up into the air. His carpenter went he were in despair, and hent him be the shoulders mictily, and shook him hard, and creed spiteously. What, Nicolae, what o? Oh, look at oon, awake and thank God Christus passion. He crouched thee fro Elvis and fro Wictus. There with the neek spell said he anon rictus in four halves of the hoose boot, and on the threshold on the door with oot. Jesu Christ, and Saint Benedict, bless this hoose from every wicked wit, or the neek snarry the wit Peter Noster. Where wentest o Saint Petrus Soster? And at the last, his hende Nicholas, Gone for to six sore and said, Alas! Shall all the world be lost in F. Stoon's new? His carpenter answered, What sayest thou? What? Think on God as we do, men that swink. This Nicholas answered, To fetch me drink. And after all he spake in privity of certain thing that toucheth me and they, he will tell it none other man certain. A doon he goeth and cometh up again, and brought the meek the ala, a large quart. And when each of them had drunk his part, this Nicholas his door fast he shet, and doon the carpenter by him he set, and said, John, mean host leaf and air, thou shalt no be thee truth swear me her, that to no reek thou shall it never rear. For it is Christus counsel that he say, and if thou tell it man, thou art forlore. For vengeance thou shalt have therefore, uh, that if thou ray me, thou shalt be wood. Nay, Christ formadeth for his holy blood. Called this silly man, he nam no laba, and though he say, he nam not leave to gaba. Say what thou wilt, he shall it never tell, uh, to child, nay weef, be him that har with hell. Uh. No, John, quoth he, he shall not lear. He have he found, in me astronomy, as he have looked on the moon of Rit. At no Monday next, at court and eight, shall fall a rain that so wild and wood that hath so great was never a noise flood. The world, he said, in less than in an hour, shall all be drenched, so hideous is the shore. Thou shall mankind be drenched and lost her leaf? This carpenter answered, Alas, me weef, and shall she drench? Alas, me dalla soon, for sore way of this he fell almost a doon and said, is there no remedy in this cast? We, oui, yes, for God, <laughs> quoth then the Nicholas. If thou wilt work in after lore and raid, thou may not work in after thine own head. For thou say Solomon, it is for truer, work all be counsel, and thou shalt not rue. And if thou wilt work in be good counsel, he undertake without a master sail, it will he save here and there and may. Hast thou not heard whose Sabbath was no way? One that our Lord had warned him before? <laughs> that all the world with water should be lorn? <laughs> yes, quoth the carpenter, fool you are ago. Hast thou not heard, quoth Nicholas also, this sorry way of no way and his fellowship? Heard that he meek get his week to ship? Him had livera, he dare well undertake, at filket him that all his weather is blacker, that she should have had a ship herself alone. And therefore, what's the best be done? This axe hasta, and of a hasted thing, men may not preach or mark and tarry it. Anon go get us fast into the sin, a canering tuba, or else a kimelin for echebus, but look that they be large, in which we mow and swim is in a barge, and hand therein the tail a supersant, boot for a day, be on the remnant. The water shall a slack, and gone away, a boot a prim upon the next day. But Robin may not wait to this, be canava. Nay, it be made a gilly, may not sava. Ax not we, for though thou axeth may, he will not tell in God his privity. 
Sufficient thee, but if thee wouldest marry to han as great a grass as Noah had, the weef he shall well serve and out of doot. Go now, and spade thee her boot. But when thou hast for here and day and may, he getting us this canading tub astray, then shalt thou hang in him in roof full here, that no man of our purviance a spear. And when thou thus hast done as he hath said, and han the tail a fair enemy laid, and ache an axe to smite the cord at all, one that the water cometh that way may go, and break an hole on he unto the gabler, over the guarded ward unto the stabler, that way may freely pass it forth our way. One that the great shore has gone away, then shalt thou swim as Moria e under Taka, as doth the wheat docker after his draka. Dan Wooly Claper, who well as soon, who John, be Moria, for the flood will pass anon. <laughs> and thou shalt say, Hail, Maester Nicolay, good more way, he say they well, for it is day. <laughs> then shall we be lord as all our leaf of all the world, as Noe and his wheat. Boot of a thing. He warned thee for great. Be well of said on that ill kinnik that we have been entered into ship as board. That none of us they spark not a word. Ne clepa, ne cria, but been in his prayer. For it is God's own a hasted era. The weef and thou must hang far atween. For that betwixt you shall be no seen, no more in looking, than there shall in day. This ordinance is said. Go nu, God they spare. Tomorrow, at night, when men be all asleep, into our canading tobas shall we creep and sit in there beating God's grass. Go no thee way, he have no longer spasso to make of this no longer ceremony. Men say thus, send the wees and say nothing. Thou art so wees, it needeth not thy teacher. Go, save our leaf, and that in they beseech. This silly carpenter goeth forth his way. Full oft he said, alas, send well away. And to his weef he told his privete, and she was war and knew it better than he what all this quaint cast was for to say. <laughs> but natheless she failed as she would day, and said, Alas, go forth thee way anon, help us to scapper our way in daddy shawn. I am the true a very wedded weef. Go, a dear spouse, and help to save our leaf. Lo, which a great thing is affection. Men mote dean of imagination, so deaf may impressions be taka. This silly carpenter beginneth quaker. Him thought very leech that he would say, No, is floody come wallowing as the say to drench in Alison his honey dare. He weepeth, waileth, maketh sorry chair. He sicketh with full many a sorry swoe, and goeth and getteth him a canedding throw, and after a tuba, and a kemelin. And privily he sent him to his inn and hang him in the roof in privete. His own hand, him had a larger's thray, to cleave and be the wrongers and the stalkis, into the tobas hanging in the balkis. And him betailed both throw and toba, with bread and chairs and good ale in a joba, sufficient rick and office for a day. But ere that he had done all this array, he sent his canava and ache his wench also upon his nay to London for to go. And on that Monday, when it draw to meet, he shut his door with wood a candle leaked, and dress it all a thing as it should be, and shortly up they clam in all a thray. They sit in still, well a furlong way. Do Peter Noster, clum, said Nicolet, and clum, quod John, and clum, said Alison. This carpenter said his devotion, and still he sit and biddeth his prayer, awaiting on the rain of hay at hair. The day the slave for weary busyness, feel on this carpenter, reek as he guess, a boot of curfew team, or little more. For the prevailing of his ghost, he groaneth sore, and eft he rooteth for his head mislay. Doon of the lad, rustocketh Nicolay, and Alison, who soft the doon she spay. With in word as more, they gone to bay, <laughs> there as the carpenter was wont to leer. There was the revel and the melody, and thus laith Alison and Nicholas in busyness of mirth and of solace. <laughs> Till that the bell of lard is gone to ring, and frères and a chancel gone a sing. This parish clerk, this amorous Absalon, that is for love always so woe begone, on that Monday was at Azinier, for compagnia to disport and play, and axed upon Cass a cloister, full privily after John the Carpenter. And he draw him apart out of the church, and said, Enot, 
He saw him here not work church since Saturday. He throw that he be went there for timber, there a rabbit hath him sent there, for he is wont for timber for to go. And dwelling at the grange there though, or else he is at his hoose certain, where that he be, he cannot soothly say. <coughs> his Absalom, full jalif, was in leaked, and thought, no esteemer to walk all neat. For sickerly, he saw him knock stirring about his door when da began to spring. So moot he thrive, he shall at cock his crow, full privily knocked at his window that stand full low upon his board as wall. To Alice soon, no will he tell in all me love longing, for yet he shall not miss, that at a laced away he shall hear kiss. <coughs> Some men here a comfort shall he have parfait. Me mooth hath each it all the long a day. That is a scene of kissing at the laster. On nicht he made the ache he was at a feaster. And therefore he will sleep an oor or twa, and all the nicht then will he walk and play. One at the first cock has crow anon, O priest this jolly lover Absalom, and him a raileth gay at point de visa. But first he cheweth grain and licorice to smell it sweet, ere he had kemmed his hair. Under his tongue a true love he bear, for there be when thee to be gracious. He roameth to the carpenter's house, and still he stamped under the shot window. Unto his breast it rocked, it was so low. Full soft he coughed with a semi soon. What do ye, honeycomb, sweet alisoon, me fair breed, me sweet cinnamome? Awaketh lemon mean and spaketh to me. Well, little thinketh ye upon me woe, that for your love is sweet, there he go. No wonder is though he swelt or sweet, he mourn is not a lab after the tate. He wees lemon, he have sweet love locking, that lick a turtle through is me morning. He may not eat no more than a maid. Go throw the window, jack a fool, she sighed. <laughs> As help me God. It shall not be compame. E love another, and Elise were to blame, well bet then they be Jesu Absalom. Go forth the way, or he will cast a stone, and let me slay a twenty devil way. <laughs> Alas, quoth Absalom, and well away, the true love was ever so evil beset. Then kiss me, sin that it may be no bet, for Jesu's love and for the love of me. Will to then go thee way therewith, quoth she? Yes, certes, Lemen. Quoth this Absalom, then mark thee ready, he come anon. And unto Nicholas she still, she said still, no hoost, and thou shalt laugh and all thee feel. This Absalom, thou set him on his canaise, and said, I am a lord at all the grays, for after this he hoped there cometh more. <laughs> Lemen, thee grassa, and sweet breed, thee nor. The window she undooth, and that in hasta. Have do, coche. Come off and spade they faster, lest that our neighbor is they a spear. This Absalom, gone weep in his mouth full drear. Dare, quoth the neek, this pitcher as the cola, and at the window oot she put here hola. And Absalom, he feel no bet nay worse, but with his mouth he kissed her naked airs. <laughs> full savourly, ere he were war of this. <laughs> Aback he stared and thought it was a miss. For well he wished the woman hath no bear. <laughs> he felt a thing all rough and long he heard, and said, uh, Flee, alas, what have he do? Tee he, quoth she, and clay to the window too. <laughs> and Absalom go forth a sorry pass. A bear, a bear, quoth Nicholas. <laughs> Be God this corpus, this goeth fair and well. This silly Absalom heard it every day. And to his lips he gone for anger beat, and to himself he said, Ye shall they quit. Who rubeth new, who fruiteth new his lippus, with dust, with sawn, with straw, with froth, with chippus, but Absalom, who saith full oft, Alas, me soul be tacketh unto Satanas, but me will avera than all in this tune, quoth he, of this dispute he reckon for to be. Alas, quoth he, he lassi ne had he blinked. His hot love was cold and all he quaint. For fro the teema that he had kissed her heirs, for paramours he set a knock the curse, for he was hailed of his malady. Full of the paramours he gan the fear, and weepeth as a child that is he bait. A softer pass he went over the strait, until a smith men crepe in danger vase, that in his forge he smith a plew harness, he sharpeth shar and coat her busily. This Absalom knocketh all easily, 
and say the undu Gervais and that and on. What? Who are two? It me, Absalon. What, Absalon? What? Christ the sweat at Ray. We raise ye so wrath, eh, Benedicte? What aileth you? Some gay girl got it woot had brought you thus upon the very tooth. Be Saint Anota, you ye would well what he mean. Is Absalon ne rocked not a bane of all his play. No word again he af. He had more toe in his distaff than Gervais knew, and say the friend so there. That hot coat there in the chimney hair is lain at me. He have there with to do. He will bring it there again full soon. Gervais answered, Certes, were it gold, that in the poker novels all untold, do should have it, as I am through Smith. Eh, Christus fool, what will ye do therewith? Thereof, quod Absalom, be as be may, he shall well tell it they another day. <laughs> he cocked the coat there, be the cold as stale, who soft out of the door he gan to stale, and went unto the carpenter's wa. He coveth first, and can knock it there withal, at the window reeked his hated air. His Alice Wound answered, Who is there that knocketh so? He warranted a thief. We nay, quoth he, God woot me swear to leaf. I am thee in Absalom, me dareling. <laughs> of gold, quoth he, he have thee brought the ring. Me mother, ye have it may, so God me save. Full fiend it is, and there to well he grave. This will he even they if do me kiss. This Nicholas was risen for to piss, <laughs> and thought, hey, what a mending of the Jaffa. Hey, what a kiss his ear, sir, that he scapa. <laughs> and oop the window did he hastily. And oot his ears, he put it privily over the buttock to the hunch of all. <laughs> there was spack this clerk, this Absalom. Spake, sweet heart, in knock knock where thou art. Then Nicholas anon let flay a fart, <laughs> as great as it had been a thunder dent that for the stroker he was almost he blent, and he was ready with the ear and hot, and Nicholas amid the air he smote, <laughs> off got the skin a hand bred a boot, the hot coat hair brand the sword at hot, that for the stroker he went for to dear, as he was wood for woe he gan to cry, help, water, water, help for God is hurt. This carpenter, out of his slumbrous dirt, and heard on Korean water as Hayward would, <laughs> and thought, alas, thou cometh no least flood. <laughs> and Upi stirred with hoot and word as mo, and with his axe he smirt the cord at all, and doon goeth all. He fool neither to sail, nay bread, nay ale, till he come on the sail, upon the floor, and there he asked one lay. Upi here Alison and Nicolay, and creed in oot and hero in the strait. The Naboras, both smaller and great, with Ronan for to garen at this man, that has sworn a lay, both pallor and wan, for with the fall he brust and had his arm. Would stand he must unto his own a harm, for when he spake he was an onboard don of Hende Nicholas and Alison. They told in every man that he was wood, he was a gas, o of Noli's flood, for fantasy, that of his vanity, he had he bought him canedding to his tray, and that he hang of him in the roof above, and that he prayed in him for goddess love to sit in the roof par compagnie. The folk gone laughing at this fantasy, and into the roof they kick it at capa, and turn his, all his harm unto a japa. For what so that the carpenter and swear doth was for knocked, no man his raisin had. With others great, he was so sworn a doon that he was holding wood in all the tune. For every clerk and unreaked held with other, they say, the man is wood, me lave a brother. And every week gone laughing at this strief. Thus sweeted was the carpenter's weef, for all his caping and his jealousy. And Absalom had kissed her nether ear. And Nicholas is scalded in the tota. This tala is done, and God's have all the ruta.